Hey everybody, so this video has been a long time coming. I wanted to go over how we added 30 horsepower to our Continental O200 with spending less than $3,000 and not adding any weight. <laughs> little backstory to this was back in 2020, we were flying um, up north and lost a ring on one of our cylinders. So obviously engine was running rough, put out some smoke. Did you make any power changes there? No, none. Uh, you're blowing smoke. Nursed it back to the home airport um, and the next day we, uh, we pulled the cylinder and it was revealed that there was actually um, not just the ring that had failed, but there was some corrosion that we found internal to the engine on the cam and on some of the lifters. And uh, so we decided that we needed to do an overhaul on this, on this engine. Part of, well, what the issue was, was while the engine had been in between airplanes back in the day, it sat on the shelf for quite a few years and it indeed picked up some corrosion internally um, causing that which led to this failure and led to us deciding to make all these changes. So we did look at this as an opportunity however as much of a uh, bummer as it was uh, we decided to take it as an opportunity to add some power to our engine. So I wanted to go over what we did. So. Um, what we did was we ordered some, we replaced all of the cylinders with brand new Superior Air Parts Millennium Cylinders. Um, and that was a great mod because they are stronger, tougher, and they allow you to crank up the timing of the engine if you want to do that. So the other thing we did was we had those cylinders brand new shipped off to Lycon in Visalia, California. Lycon adds power to engines. So what we had them do is we did have them do a port flow and balance on all of these new cylinders, which creates better airflow. And that cost us about $1,200. So that was a bit painful, but it was worth about 10 horsepower. So while they were there, we had them not install the brand new 7.3 compression pistons, and we had them install the um, some new Lycon 9 to 1 compression pistons. So I still have my brand new in the box with the ring 7.3 compression millennium pistons if anybody wants them. So that was worth 10 horsepower. Now some people will actually go with 9.5 compression pistons. Some guys will even go with 10 to 1 compression pistons um, for their O200s. Keep in mind O200s are modified as race engines. The whole sport class in Reno are aircraft that are only running modified Continental O200 engines. So it is a beast of an engine and is very capable of handing, handling these big horsepower increases. So that was 10 horsepower for port flow balance, eight horsepower for the nine to one compression pistons and flew it for a little while on that and it really ripped, we really could feel the difference, it is awesome. But the other element we wanted to do that we got done was switching to a Vetterman exhaust system. So the main issue with the Continental O200 is not the engine itself, it is the original exhaust system. The pipes are just too short and though that causes back pressure in the exhaust system. It robs the engine of power as the engine has to use power to force those exhaust gases out of the pipes. So what Vetterman exhaust does, it runs the pipe around, two pipes around the front of the engine, down and out, creating a longer exhaust pipe, which then creates a much better free flowage of the exhaust gases, causing the engine to just breathe so much better. So what we also did when we did that was we got rid of the mufflers. So we lost the mufflers and the Vetterman exhaust in, a, in and of itself sounds awesome, 
but then when you drop the mufflers, it sounds really cool. So yeah, my uh, little Kit Fox sounds kind of like a 1950s hot rod right now. I just love it. So 30 horsepower, less than $3,000 with no added weight. That's a big win in aviation land. So um, now what we have to do is take all that power and add some thrust, create some thrust out of it. So my uh, original 70 inch warp drive prop has been doing the job. It's been great, but we are switching to a larger diameter prop. Now that we have all this power, we're gonna translate that into thrust. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out, but we got more big changes coming and more mods and more adventures on the way.